uh, they ended up setting it up on a scaffolding 2,400 feet from uh, ground zero. The reason they didn't want to use it is that uh, by that time, Hanford was up and operating, producing adequate amounts of plutonium. Uh, also, uh, they were worried about the steel in that would obscure the diagnostic instrumentation. They didn't want that to happen. They wanted to get a clear picture of the explosion. And uh, so they decided that not to use it. Also, by that time, the scientists had a pretty good idea that it was going to work. They, they had a confidence in it. So they set it up. They set off the, uh, the test. It blew the scaffolding out from under Jumbo and left Jumbo intact. Uh, after the war then, uh, poor old General Groves is stuck with this, this thing down here on the, on the Mesa. And he was worried about going to a congressional hearing, inquiry, and asking, and they were and told that he had spent $12 million to build a structure like this that never got used. Well, $12 million doesn't yeah, sound like much now. It, right now, it would be $500 million in today's dollars. So he decided to blow it up. <laughs> you know, in general, you blow it up. So they put eight 500-pound bombs in it and set them off. And it blew the ends off, the ends caps <laughs> off. So what you see there is still here, a remnant of the uh, of Trinity and uh, what they had to go through in uh, getting an atom bomb.